This screencast demonstrates the mass balance over the distillation plant in the Unit Operations Laboratory at Lafayette College. Here is a simplified picture of a distillation column with feed, distillate, and bottom streams. We have the following given parameters for feed flow rate and composition, as well as distillate flow rate and composition. For your edification, this 267 SCCM for feed flow rate translates to about 3.4 gallons per hour, while the 2.3 SCCM for distillate flow rate converts to roughly 0.7 gallons per day. Once we have converted these values, it's a simple matter of plug and chug using two equations, the overall mass balance and the component mass balance, to solve for our two unknowns, the bottom's flow rate and composition. Now we have the necessary information to construct a McCabe field diagram. Remember from separations that a McCabe field diagram is a graphical method to analyze binary distillation systems. It utilizes the principle that at each theoretical stage within a distillation column, the two components are at vapor liquid equilibrium. For a simple one feed distillation system, the McCabe field diagram is made of four major curves. But first, before we graph those four major curves, we graph a 45 degree angle line, which corresponds to the operating line at total reflux. Therefore, it acts as a lower limit for your operating lines, representing a maximum operating cost and a minimum capital cost. Of the four major curves, first is the equilibrium curve, representing the vapor liquid equilibrium behavior of your components. Second is your feed operating line, now for this system, we're utilizing room temperature methanol water feed, so it's being fed at its bubble point. Therefore, it's a subcooled liquid, where Q is determined via the following equation. Third and fourth are your rectifying and stripping operating lines. First, we will solve for a minimum reflux ratio, which represents the upper limit for your operating lines, thus the minimum operating cost and the maximum capital cost. This is the corresponding graph for minimum reflux ratio at an infinite number of stages. As you approach this region, your stepping off stages get smaller and smaller, resulting in a pinch point where the composition stays constant even with additional stages. The Excel spreadsheet used throughout this screencast is stored in the following link. We have our materials balance information, but we'll also need some additional operating parameters specified here. First, we'll graph our equilibrium data using the equation pulled from the previous slides of the ideal vapor-liquid equilibrium behavior between methanol and water. Additionally, one can plot the equilibrium curve using empirical data. Next, we graph the feed operating line, again utilizing that subcooled feed Q equation and plugging it into the operating line equation. This column is to solve for the intersection between the Q and the equilibrium curve. It's conditionally formatted to highlight the value with the lowest difference between the equilibrium curve Y data point and the Q line Y data point. Next is the minimum reflux ratio rectifying curve. We'll take a graphical approach to solving for minimum reflux, meaning we know that at minimum reflux, the rectifying operating line will intersect the feed line where it intersects the equilibrium curve. So we take our intersection points here that we have already solved for and copy and paste them over. We also know that our rectifying line has to intersect our 45 degree angle line at the distillate composition. Thus we can graph the operating line, take the slope, and back solve for our R min value. The column manual states that each column has 10 theoretical stages. This information coupled with our materials balance allows us to iterate for an operating reflux ratio by testing multiples of your minimum reflux ratio. If we choose a random iteration, say R equals 1.5 R min, we can calculate the reflux ratio here, copy the feed operating line data over, and plot our rectifying operating line using this new reflux ratio value and our distillate composition value. This column solves for the intersection of the feed operating line and the rectifying operating line. Next is the stripping operating line. We can utilize the stripping section operating line equation shown before, but a simpler method is just to use two known points to graph the line. 
we know that the stripping operating line has to intersect the rectifying operating line at the feed line, as well as intersect the 45 degree angle line at the bottom's composition. Therefore, you can graph the stripping operating line. The procedure from here is to iterate until we reach a reflux ratio that utilizes 10 theoretical stages, or 9 stages plus a partial reboiler, to match the theoretical number of stages in our custom separations technology distillation column. This reflux ratio is 1.3 rmin, or about 8.9. An additional note, this McCabe field diagram assumes 100% tray efficiency, which we know isn't true. Instead of undertaking Murphy efficiencies, however, we will assume a column efficiency of 0.5 and simply double the number of theoretical stages to 19, which will be the number of actual stages in our distillation column. To learn more about the operation of the distillation plant, watch the related videos on the Lafayette CHBE YouTube channel.